Good afternoon, Chair Frank, uh, members of the committee. My name is Stacy Wilson. I am the president of the Children's Hospital Association of Texas, and I am here supporting in favor of the bill. Um, a lot has already been said about this that I would also say, so I'm not going to repeat that. Bless you. Um, yes, you're welcome. Um, I will say from a hospital's perspective, um, no, our hospitals treat the most medically complex children. And as you know, over 3.1 million children are in Medicaid. So anything that's happening in Medicaid is disproportionately impacting our hospitals. And what we're seeing, whether you're a child with medically complex conditions or whether you're somebody in one of our outpatient neighborhood clinics where we're reaching out to, to kids and their families where it's cheaper, it's closer to home, when you're seeing these kids go on and off of Medicaid, even between Medicaid and CHIP, what you're seeing is delays in coverage, and what happens is you end up with asthma, diabetes, behavioral health, health issues that were otherwise preventable that are occurring in our children, which we could have avoided if we had kept them on these kinds of, on Medicaid. Um, there are studies that show, um, uh, Chairman Frank, to your point, even the term between Medicaid and CHIP results in avoidable delays in care. Um, and again, happy to follow up with your office on that. Um, obviously, it causes a lot of uncompensated care when you have uninsured children. Um, in Texas as a whole, hospitals um, had over $6.8 billion in uncompensated care in 2016. 300 million of that was incurred by our eight hospital members. So of course, every time a child comes to the emergency department and is uninsured, we will treat that child, but it becomes uncompensated care that somebody ends up paying for in some way. Either it's cost shifted to those with insurance or it's uncompensated care that county taxpayers end up paying for through no, or Medicaid or DISH any, or any some other those, way. Yeah, right. Yeah. So um, we are very supportive of the bill. We thank um, Representative Cortez for bringing it forward and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Members, any questions? Okay. Thank you for your testimony.